Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobuman. In this presentation, I want to take a little bit of time and talk about production impact and why you should be concerned about this, especially if you work desktop support or business system analyst or a similar IT position. So what is production impact? Anytime users cannot complete their work, meaning that there's something that is causing them to stop working and they simply cannot complete their work, whatever their task might be. Anytime time is wasted doing nothing. So let's say there is a huge issue with computers. Let's say something big happened and then suddenly a whole department is stalled because something is causing or something is preventing them from working because computers are inoperable. That is time wasted doing nothing. And of course, loss of money. Every time users cannot work, it's a huge loss of money. Think of it this way. Let's say a whole department goes down for about an hour because of something happened, right? Let's say there are thousand users that are affected by this. That would be obviously 1000 hours on average that is wasted doing nothing. So, you know, just imagine this, put yourself in this situation where something happens and a lot of users are impacted, right? And then suddenly the only way to resolve this issue is for users to reboot their computers and so they can log back in and then everything should be fine. On average, you can say that it takes about an hour for each user to log in, pull up all of their systems, log into all the systems that they have, and basically get situated with all the commotion that's going around them because they can see that Everybody else is down, so people are wasting time, wasting money. Huge production impact. So when does production impact occur? First thing we have is installation of new hardware. So let's say out of a thousand computers, you have to replace 200 of them because new hardware came. Well, you have to organize this in a manner where in which will minimize production impact because this is a huge logistical thing. We're talking about projects here, right? Same thing with installation of new applications. Let's say you do have to install an application to a large amount of computers. There are some you know, logistics involved in order to do this properly. Otherwise, there will be a huge production impact. Pushing applications during work hours is also a really bad idea. You do not want to push a new update to an application in the middle of the day and then it would restart. Suddenly, this application decides to restart computers for a thousand users. This is really bad. Unplanned outages. There's really nothing you can do about that because it's unplanned, but this stuff happens a lot. Lack of knowledge to troubleshoot meaning that somebody that works for the company in IT does not know how to resolve issues in a timely manner. You can imagine, let's say, an application goes down for a thousand users and the person that is in charge of support for this application does not have the proper knowledge to resolve this issue, so maybe they have to resort into contacting somebody else and now you have to wait for the third person. And then lack of support for an application, which is pretty much exactly what I said just now. You don't have the proper support in order to resolve issues in timely manner. And then lastly, you can simply be short-handed. This can be applied in any type of situation, whether it's a huge application outage or your department that you work in. Let's say there are, I don't know, Let's say there are five of you working in desktop support, PC support, or what have you for, you know, let's say a huge building that houses thousand um, computers, thousand users, but then three of you calls in, three of you are sick, and now you're shorthand, shorthanded. This obviously causes production impact because you cannot resolve everybody's issues in a timely manner. Now the question comes, can you prevent production impact? Production impact can only be minimized and rarely is 100% prevented. The reason I say this is because, yes, eventually you will be installing new hardware, 
which takes time, takes time to deploy, takes time for new users to adjust to it, takes time for you to install any applications that are required for it. And even if you do all of that and you think everything's perfect, the user still has to log into this brand new machine and they have to test that out. Same thing goes for a new application. New application um, is, is presented to the new use, to the users. They suddenly have to learn this new application. And this will, of course, be a production impact because they don't have the knowledge or training necessarily to be very efficient at this. Again, this kind of goes back to my lack of knowledge, right? Whether it's not just, not just the uh, PC support, but also users can, per, can cause a production impact. And rarely is 100% prevented. For example, you could technically prevent 100% production impact. For example, let's say you are uh, deploying a patch, an update for a certain application. And as long as you know that everything is fine, you took time to make sure that this patch will not cause any issues, you can deploy it during after hours, meaning you don't, you don't deploy it during business hours. So users may not even be aware that you are pushing the new patch to the user's computers. And then as long as there are no issues the following day, you can consider this a 100% prevent the production impact. So one way to prevent uh, or to minimize production impact is to plan ahead. So let's say you are deploying a lot of computers at once or whether you're deploying an application or anything of sort that users might be using on a larger scale, you have to create a plan of action, right? You have to sit down and plan ahead in order to minimize the production impact. Typically what you would do is start testing. For example, um, you would work, well, let's say it's an application, right? There's a new application for a certain department. Typically you would work with the management for that department um, in order to acquire testers, you know, sort of like beta testers for this application, right? You, you would, you know, acquire this information. You would probably contact these users, you know, be in contact with them and work with them, deploy the application to, you know, let's say a handful of users, which again, is still be an, you know, minimized production impact, but at least you will have somebody to test this application before it's pushed on a global scale, right? Then these users can test this application um, in between their normal work, right? Again, this takes time, it's small production impact, but at least you're minimizing it. And then when they report any issues, you can spend time troubleshooting it. Once you troubleshoot the application, and this can take time as well, once you know that everything's fine, your testers say, okay, everything's fine, no problems so far, you let them work a week or two depending on what your plan is. And then once you're 100% sure that everything is okay, then you can start deployment on a larger scale. Um, in order to be um, even in order to be safer, in my opinion, let's say you do have a thousand computers, I would start pushing slowly to let's say 20, 40, 50, or even 100 computers at once, right? In my opinion, I would tread carefully and start, for example, with 20 and see how it goes and not push to all computers at once because you still don't know. There's still that unknown factor that could cause production impact and you don't want to push to thousand computers at once anyway, right? Because production impact is, is something that we have to seriously consider in this case, right? So once you do push to, you know, eventually, you know, if everything goes accordingly to, to your plan, eventually you will push to everybody. Everybody's going to get it. All thousand users will get this application. And then lastly, what you want to do is verify and follow up make sure that everything's okay, you know? And this type of thing can also be applied with hardware, right? Same thing, same thing. You just have to make sure you do plan ahead and spend extra time on that, you know? This is also called project management, which is an incredibly good skill to have, especially if you're trying to move ahead. You know, let's say you want to be a manager 
IT manager of some sort, that these are type of skills you want to learn. And these are must, uh, these are skills that you must know, if, especially if you are a business system analyst, all right? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. I know it's not my typical showing you how to do things on a computer, but I really feel like it's important that you know you know the that you know what production impact is and how you can go about minimizing it and maybe even eliminating production impact just to throw this out there real quick i have a patreon page so if you like to support me you can do so at patreon.com forward slash kobuman if you like this video please like if you don't dislike it leave a comment thank you so much for watching all right guys have a good one best of luck to you Bye bye